Hello everyone. Happy Friday. So excited to be on. Had some challenges this morning. Then got super busy. But never too busy to talk about day 18, our 30 day challenge. Yay, we made it. I'm so excited for that. So excited. We're on day 18. Yes. Today is hashtag I give myself permission. I give myself permission. How many of you needed to hear that? That you just need to give yourself permission to just do whatever it is you need to do. You needed to give yourself permission to have computer issues today. <laughs> you needed to give yourself permission um, to do something adventurous. Hello, welcome, thank you for joining. Um, you know, you needed to give yourself permission to maybe even fail, not succeed at something. Give yourself permission to take the time that you need to do the things that you need to do in your life. That's what today is all about. I want to say hello. Uh, thank you so much for all of the uh, DMs that you guys send out. I truly appreciate it. Um, and so I wrote down because you guys are serious about your shout out. So I want to say um, thank you to the U.S. Army watching in Canada and Arizona. Woo -woo. Welcome. Uh, we have Ghana. Thank you so much for watching from Ghana. Uh, Largos, Nigeria. Appreciate you. Uh, Dominic Republic. Welcome, welcome. So happy to have you. London. We're excited for you to be on with us. Um, Jamaica and the United States. <laughs> I had one girl reach out and wanted me to say her town. Okay, there's so many towns in, in the United States. So we're just going to say the United States. But I really am so excited for you guys to be as happy about this challenge as I am um, because truly um, getting out of your own way is a is success in itself and it just kind of lifts this dark cloud off of you and allows you to truly be and that's what it's all about it's about being welcome thank you for joining it really is about being able to feel confident in the decisions that you make and not doubt yourself, right? Not to doubt yourself about any decision that you make. It's truly, truly important um, to make sure that happens. So that you can hear me better, fabulous. So I am in Connecticut, whoop, whoop, and we had a storm last week, how fabulous. So they're still cleaning up. So you'll probably hear uh, them cutting down trees. We had a ton of trees. Um, come down in my area really really bad so I live near a park so these trees were monstrous they were humongous and they came from the root and some of them just split in half yeah so it's serious so that's the noise that you hear it's natural it's nature I'm outside welcome having lunch with you guys outside I'm so excited to have you all we're talking about hashtag I give myself permission I give myself permission to succeed today I give myself permission to dream today. What are you giving yourself permission to do today? Shout out in the chat. Let me know what you're gonna give yourself permission to do today. It's so important. Um, when I first heard that phrase of someone saying to me, maybe things aren't really going your way because you're not giving yourself the permission to do it. And I really thought about that. And I said, you know what, maybe you're right. Because sometimes we don't give ourselves permission to for things not to go the way we want them to go but I love one of my friends she always says at the end of the day everything went perfectly the way it was supposed to go so <laughs> I love it so hashtag I give myself permission for everything to be perfect no matter how it comes out and no matter what happens um, because we had the opportunity that particular day um, to do it thank you guys so much for being on I'm so excited um, to do this challenge. I myself have uh, truly been able to do lives. So I'm going to share with you guys some stuff that you may not realize that I was petrified of doing a Facebook live. Like in May, literally, I was petrified um, of doing that. And I was petrified in living all out. I was petrified in making mistakes. 
Can anybody relate? You're so afraid to make a mistake that you just don't do it, right? Um, I make sure that um, whatever I can do, I control my environment so that I can control my results. Any engineers out there, people, mathematic petitions out there, we think that way. Uh, we like to control our environment, so we only do uh, what we know the results are gonna um, come out to do. So we won't go above that because if we can't see what the result is gonna be, we won't move above that. And that was me. I was kind of plateaued and stuck in that space. And I decided um, that I wasn't gonna stay in the same space for next year. That I knew next year I wanted to be in a different place. And in order for me to do that, I needed to have growth in my life. And in order to have growth in your life, you have to make some changes and actually do the work. And that's the hard part, right? Doing the work. Sometimes it's so easy to write things down. Oh yeah, I'm gonna change this. I'm getting up at 7 a.m. every single morning. And then tomorrow, 7 a.m. comes around and you're even more exhausted than you thought you would be. And so your decision became, I'm gonna do it tomorrow. So then tomorrow comes around and then you start to think about, this is just so stupid. Why do I need to get up at seven? I could just get up at eight like I normally get up and do my thing and life is amazing. Well, because you wanted to keep the commitment to yourself, one. Because when we don't keep the commitments to ourselves and the things that we set for ourselves, it's so much easier for us to give up. Anybody ever been there? When you get ready to give up, you're just like, oh, well, whatever, it doesn't matter. I wasn't gonna really do it anyway. I didn't really put my effort forth anyway. So it doesn't matter, it, it didn't bother me. Um, but in fact, it does, because there's gonna come a time in your life where you really want to achieve this goal. Like you put everything into achieving this goal. Maybe it's starting a business. Maybe it's going back to school. Maybe it's going for a promotion. You really want to get involved into this, into that position and something starts to happen and starts to unravel where things aren't going the way that you planned them. And before you know it, you already convinced yourself it was okay that you didn't deserve that position. You didn't deserve to go to be a solopreneur. You don't deserve to have a side hustle. You don't deserve to have more in your life because that's what we do well. Can you agree? So we talked about why we want to change the thoughts in our subconscious mind so that when those times come around, we're strong enough to push past them. And we know that we deserve the result that we're looking for. And you are ultimately going to focus on that, resort, on that result. How many woke up today and did their gratitudes, did their gratefulness, and did it for the things that they know are coming in your life? How powerful was that? Was that not a game changer? I mean, that was a complete game changer for me. And then at night, you're writing down what you're grateful for, what happened in that day, the things that you have in your possession, your loved ones, the people you've met, the opportunities you have, right? That's exciting. That's what it's all about. So, you know, we're here together to support each other. You know, I want to thank all the people who've been reaching out and wanting to just talk and me being able to encourage and empower them to do their thing to go out there and share their message. Um, you know, Lisa Nichols always says, your story is not your story. Your story is for someone else. How sobering is that? And so many of us refuse to have a conversation with someone else about what's going on in our life because we are afraid of what the other person might be thinking or what they're going to say. So I'm hoping that becoming rejection proof and going through these exercises every single day is helping you get past that so you can share your story with someone else who may need it. There are a lot of people out there suffering right now during COVID and they just need a voice. They really need a voice. They need someone who's willing, who's willing to stand with them and say, it's okay that you're feeling this way. It really is. And we're gonna get through it together. Hashtag, we are stronger together. That's what it's all about. Each one, teach one is what I live by. And that's why I do this every day. And, and it means a lot to me because you guys give me energy to keep going and to keep pushing past 
um, all of the limiting beliefs, pushing past all of the obstacles that um, I might come across, the challenges that I may think I can't get over, and in retrospect, I really can. If I just continue on the path, I continue to believe in myself and I continue to believe in this, the decisions that I'm making for myself, you'll see that there is something for you and it is yours. It's not mine. It's not your neighbors. It's not your cousins. It's not your brothers. It's yours. So I say to you today, go out there and get it. Hashtag give yourself permission to go get what's yours. Thank you so very much for joining in today. I will be back tomorrow at 9 a.m. as we embark on day 19. You guys, we are on the home stretch. And during this home stretch, if you need to really dig deep, we are. you can find us at the Six Figure Check. It's a private group where we dig deeper and help you really create the successes. And I'm so proud of a lot of the women that and men that are in there who are just reaching great heights of success. And I just want to say congratulations to Brandon, who um, was asked by Forbes to uh, write a book. Congratulations, congratulations for getting out of your own way, believing in yourself, and making big things happen in your life. Many blessings to you all, and have a wonderful day. Mwah.